Hello, welcome to the meetup about the functionality of a new version of Velon Local 2004. My name is Sergey Lapin, I'm Velon Local expert in Gurton. Today we will talk about new features uh, which appeared in the administration system of Velon Local 2004, about uh, the new functions that uh, Velon Hosting released in the period of past uh, year and this functionality now is available in 2004. Also, Debian and Node.js update will be mentioned. The recording of this meetup will be posted on our YouTube channel in playlist uh, Gurten Meetups. Um, if uh, you missed previous meetups, you can find them uh, on our channel or on our site. Uh, links are in the description to this stream. Uh, but if you're watching Meetup live, you can write your questions uh, in the chat and we will answer them uh, in the end of the webinar. Adding name and company in message will be very helpful. So let's uh, start with um, administrator system. Uh, license tab. Mm, now the expiration date of Valon local license is displayed here. For standard VLON local servers, uh, the license is issued for one month. For rental VLON local servers, for one day. And when the license expires by 80%, uh, a new license will be requested. A yellow warning will appear 12 hours before the expiration time. Uh, if VLON local could not connect to the license server, it uh, has not updated the license before the specified time, the warning will be read. Also, you will see an appropriate error in logs. Now let's talk uh, about new features available on the Alon tab. Um, our partners have asked for a long time to give them possibility to create several sites of type CMS manager for themselves, for sub-dealers and clients with different DNSs, settings and availability. Now you can create several CMS uh, sites. Uh, for this, uh, you need to purchase uh, an extra site module and after installing an update, it will be uh, displayed here. Uh, after that, in settings, you can change uh, its type to CMS Manager. Note that uh, the type of first VLON website cannot be changed. Uh, now for sites working with via HTTPS, the status of SSL certificates is displayed uh, here uh, in multicolored logs with uh, informative tooltips where you can see DNS, expired period, certificate chain completeness, etc. Uh, also, we added option uh, to automatically uh, complete uh, SSL chains here with help of this button. Let's fix this now. So as you can see, certificate chain is fixed now. Uh, let's encrypt. In VLON Local 2004, it's became, to, it's became possible to use Let's Encrypt certificates, which are generated and extended automatically. Uh, to do this, you can uh, change uh, SSL type here to Let's Encrypt and uh, save uh, settings. Note that for Let's Encrypt certificates and self-signed certificates, you don't, don't need to uh, add your own certificates here to site. Um, Let's Encrypt uh, is uh, free certificates, uh, certificates, I'm sorry, uh, of uh, X509, uh, X509 uh, type um, for TLS encryption. Uh, for it was much mentioning that uh, they are generated absolutely automatically once per three months, and uh, you don't need uh, to do anything. Well, undo all for itself. Maps. 
we have added two more maps. It's uh, Chinese A map and Iranian uh, Nama maps. You can enter a case here and use uh, them on your monitoring sites. Uh, we added uh, control uh, for connections to your VLON local. There are three, three blocks here. Let's open them. First block is for device type. Uh, you can see all Ashva types uh, in this table. Their ports, uh, port cannot be changed. Their status, uh, commands that are available for device type. And also you can stop or start uh, any uh, Ashva script on your server. Uh, also, there is a possibility to change uh, the name of uh, device type for different billing plans here. Connections. Uh, now you can see all devices connected to your server, uh, their type, port that they are connected to, and uh, host from where. You can disconnect all or several devices. Uh, in sessions, you can see all your user activity for different sites. Uh, here is uh, username, app that he use, host from where he sits, uh, and he, you can disconnect uh, this session. For example, we have this session here. Uh, let's drop it. We push the disconnect button, and after quite yeah, by time it will be dropped. The session <laughs> will disappear. Let's log in again. Uh, also, we have added uh, possibility to uh, add the uh, logos in reports uh, for different billing plans. As you can see, you can uh, upload it here or as add to default uh, for different billing plans like that. Uh, now let's go to system tab. Uh, we, uh, we redesigned both the visual and internal logic of the block with updates. We removed the update all button which allowed to download all modules, for example in case of malfunctions, and replaced it with an icon uh, which requires confirmation. Uh, it will help to reduce the number of download modules made by mistake or carelessness. Uh, many users think that this button was uh, to install updates. It's not true. Uh, block of installation updates is here. Uh, this uh, is needed only in critical cases when, uh, when your models are corrupted, for example. Um, let's go further on. In events model, we added uh, the possibility for manual recalculation events for different units. Uh, it is needed, for example, if you change some settings uh, in unit properties and uh, you don't see needed information in mobile application, uh, you can recalculate events uh, here, just, uh, I don't know, uh, taking one unit for like five days and push recalculate buttons. Only five units uh, can be recalculated in one time. Um, in version 2004, we divided limitations and settings tabs. Uh, now in limitations tab, there are also four more options. Uh, notification execution for unit per minute, uh, maximum simultaneous SDK requests and uh, uh, even uh, event requests per minute and messages requested per minute. And it will allow you to uh, set uh, limitations more flexible uh, to for your users. In settings tab, uh, now we have a hardware DNS option. Uh, DNS is a more flexible uh, tool uh, uh, you can point your devices on, uh, for example, this DNS and later change its IP and your users uh, will not uh, have need to switch to another IP of their devices. Uh, let's take a look at monitoring system. There is uh, an also uh, 
here is an option to switch between uh, IP view and DNS view for users where they point their devices. Um, database compression, yes, uh, this option um, can be activated for messages uh, to store messages older than 30 days, 13 days. Uh, this allows to reduce occupied disk space, compressed data reading is executed at uh, the same high level uh, of speed. However, it requires uh, more server resources. Uh, some more details about this option. Um, during database defragmentation, which starts every day, uh, messages older than uh, 14 days are compressed and saved in directory storage uh, slash MA. Uh, the compression is implemented with LZ4 uh, compression mechanism, me algorithm, I'm sorry. When accessing these messages, they are uncompressed into cache and Vialon uh, reads uh, them from there. Um, certainly, uncompression requires some ser server resources. However, the speed of accessing these messages is not uh, affected on the whole. Um, here is block of uh, restoring uh, for properties uh, for resources and units. You can act activate this option, uh, set storage term. Um, it is needed uh, when uh, some users perform some in, uh, reversible actions, for example, deleted all the offenses for resource or changed unit settings. Uh, so you can restore these settings. For, uh, you can see in unit properties it's here. You can uh, click on uh, needed date in calendar and uh, this window will allow you to restore all or several settings. Um, let's check this option. For example, I will delete these two geofences go from resource as a bad user. Uh, Next, we will go, for example, in CMS Manager, uh, find an account where these GFNs were created, and restore its contents, for example, on Monday date. Uh, pick GFNs, okay. And now we will see it is successful. We, we see the resurrected GFNs here. Uh, next, mail settings. Uh, we added uh, the long-awaited option to roll back. Uh, a, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we <laughs> uh, in Velon Local we implemented the possibility of working with modern SMTP ser servers by secure protocol uh, with encryption. The mail server for entire Velon Local is uh, set here in this tab. Uh, here you can enter SMTP server login and password. Uh, if you leave these uh, options blank, uh, mail will be sent uh, with help of uh, internal postfix utility that uh, are on your server. Uh, it was to be mentioned that you can uh, specify uh, SMTP server for different billing plans. It can be here in CMS Manager. Uh, you can add another SMTP server uh, and another email from where uh, notifications to user will be uh, sent. Uh, so you can make it here or for a whole server here. Um, and also we added a possibility to change uh, administrator emails uh, for Russian and Espanol also. Uh, uh, before that, it was only English language. Um, some changes and new features are not seen in the administrative side uh, interface, but uh, uh, they was to be mentioned as well. Uh, notification for uh, approaching the limit of units. Now the administrator system informs the client that the number of created units uh, approaching the limit, and there is time to purchase additional units. Um, as for optimization, we reduce the amount of RAM consumed by Vialon by removing, uh, removing duplicate metadata. 
We also optimized the loading of word part of the system. Uh, as for extra reliability, in version 2004, uh, we added an additional mechanism for automatic uh, backup of the administrative system settings, as well as parts of the database with uh, properties of uh, well-known objects like resources and units. Uh, sometimes, though quite rarely, serious database corruption may occur. A messages loss is of course a big problem, but uh, the loss of all settings for units, users and resources is often much more critical. And now, even if our standard backup module is not used, at least the part of database will be saved with properties. Uh, is, it is also quite reasonable to save uh, these properties backup outside the main server periodically. Uh, they are located in uh, home, VLON, VLocal, TMP, PD, Backup. Uh, however, we still recommend to use our backup module on another server for full uh, database replication. Uh, we have very good news from our applications development team. Of course, one of the long-awaited products is Hectara, the solution for the agricultural sector allowing to control field works uh, on the basis of telematics data. Uh, it is now available in Vialon Local 2004. If you want to get more information uh, about this application, I highly recommend to watch the recording of uh, the meetup devoted to Hectara and uh, help by my colleagues Oleg Zhorkovsky and Katerina Alexandrova uh, on our YouTube channel. I strongly recommend that. Um, as for logistics, uh, some new features were implemented. We added notification on the order rejection. It will uh, help quickly contact the customer or driver to cancel or schedule the delivery. And we have also added a dynamic search in the unit list. Uh, so, uh, what about our stream? Uh, thank you for watching us. I remind you that you can write questions in the chat and we will answer them in the end of our webinar. Next, let's, let's talk about uh, Debian and uh, Node.js upgrade. Um, our team um, tries to follow the new versions of products which are tightly connected with Valon Local. In each uh, new version, system security is improved and current packages dependencies are supported. Uh, in VLocal 2004, we move to the next version of Debian, Debian 10 Buster. We also move to the current stable uh, version of Node.js, version 10. It will help to support the versions of uh, dependent packages necessary for Valon Local administrator site on a proper level. Uh, if you want to upgrade the alone local from version 904 to 2004, you can upgrade Debian and Node.js uh, either before or after a local up upgrade. Uh, pay attention that if you plan to upgrade to version 2004 from 804 or earlier versions, you need first to upgrade version to version 904 following all um, recommendation described in our documentation. Uh, only after that, you can start uh, with Debian and Node.js uh, update. Um, uh, among the other features in Debian 10 Bustard, the transition to, IP tab uh, to NF tables was actually carried out. NF tables is a subsystem of Linux kernel that provides connections and traffic filtering. And if tables replaces IP tables uh, in that filter firewall, although it still masks at, masked as uh, IP tables and support all settings, all old settings. If you want to fully uh, change the configuration to enough tables, you can uh, request the example from us or use the configuration from uh, the new VLON local build ISO image of 2004. You can also see it on the screen here. Now, let us talk about new features in VLON system itself, uh, which appeared in VLON Local 2004. 
Um, as you already mentioned, uh, we change uh, the design of login pages and some elements uh, on monitoring and CMS sites. Uh, for example, uh, tr new track player design. Let's go to CMS first. Um, uh, we add a possibility to uh, request items change with a simple one button. So we can find the resource here uh, and click this tiny button and we will see all changes for this resource and who done them. Um, uh, we added also a warning in uh, reducing, um, let's go to another resource, for example, like this one. Um, we added uh, a notification here that uh, will show you that reducing uh, period of uh, storage uh, will affect um, uh, lower um, accounts also, so you won't mess with the uh, data deletion, deleting. Now let's go to web and see what we got new here. Um, the dashboard, we added uh, to monitoring such feature as dashboard. Uh, it contains summary information about the units from the work list. Here you can quickly access the connection and motion states of units, uh, see the latest online notification as well as gear fences where the units are located, um, and uh, much more other information. Uh, the information will uh, be updated as new messages are received, uh, will be received from units. Uh, now you can view the fleet uh, K characteristics in the form of charts also, thus uh, data become visually uh, compelling and easy to grasp. Uh, let's take a look on uh, list in monitoring tab. We added a search here uh, where you can f uh, search unit by its name, email, unique ID, unit's group name, type of devices and characteristics. For example, if I type here, uh, I'm sorry, red translator, we can see all uh, the long uh, retranslator devices with this device type. Now let's examine new features and improvements in reports. Uh, custom sensor values in reports. Uh, Let's take a new report, for example. Uh, for unit, we can add the table, for example, field fillings, and you can see that for custom sensor, we added new fields with average value, minimum, maximum, initial, and final values for custom sensor. Uh, these options are in uh, fuel theft, fuel s fillings, geofences, and echo driving tables. Uh, there is a new type of report. Uh, it's a report for geofence, where you can add table units. Uh, this new table shows which unit visited a specific uh, geofence uh, within a certain period of time. So before that, you, uh, you can set only uh, unit group reports and filter them by geofence, but now you can do this here. Uh, and passengers reports. Um, let's create one. Uh, here in table, uh, we add a mileage uh, parameter, which uh, show uh, the, di uh, the distance that uh, was traveled by a passenger, uh, it can be useful, for example, in case of charge uh, for mileage, maybe in taxi or like uh, buses. 
<coughs> there are many other features that was to uh, be mentioned and that uh, we would like to present, but it will take too much time. Uh, that's why we will just um, enumerate them. Uh, let's take a look on the slides. Yeah. Uh, the uh, unit column in reports and drivers. Uh, the unit column was uh, is available now in echo driving uh, and uh, in fragments tables in reports and drivers. Besides, there is now the count column in the in fragments table. Uh, as for tooltips in uh, reports, we, with help of uh, the tooltip, uh, the exclamation mark next. Uh, to the disable button that systems inform you what you went wrong and what you have to do to create the report successfully. Uh, field description in reports uh, is now available. Here you can indicate the purpose of a uh, report template or write recommendations of how to exec execute uh, and uh, analyze the report. A uh, new format of uh, exported report file name. Uh, now it contains not only the resource name, but the ob object's name as well. Uh, Hitman player in reports. We added uh, this layer. Now parking, speeding, strip clusters can be identified visually when building a report. Uh, Unit profile information in reports. We added possibility to display the characteristics of the unit for the uh, profile tab in reports as well as the unique ID from general tabs in unit settings. Uh, custom field uh, in report tables. Now there is a possibility to display them in se separate columns in different report tables. The option is available for the custom fields uh, of units, units groups, drivers and trailers. Uh, the ability to change uh, data filtering uh, order uh, is now available for users. Uh, the saved order is applied to data filtering in the report table. As for notifications and jobs. Uh, now in the driver trailer control notification you can add comma separated multiply code uh, masks or codes it will allow you to control as many drivers or trailers as you need with one notification uh, as unit tags in comments triggered in notifications now you can use tags in the common text uh, in notifications if you put a tag in the command uh, text, jack, just like in notification text now, uh, the corresponding tag value will be uh, set instead of the tag itself during command execution. Uh, we added uh, units um, moves without driver option to the top speed to track movement of a unit without uh, an uh, assigned driver. Uh, notifications and jobs description. The description will be displayed in the tooltip when uh, hovering over the notification or job name. Notifications on uh, and, and jobs import. I'm sorry. Now the import of notifications and job will be complete successfully even if the system does not have access to the unit indicated in the notifications or job settings. Previously there was an error in case of it and import will, was failed. Uh, some other features. Uh, quick uh, GFN's editing. Now to open GFN's editing you can simply press button control and click uh, uh, with your mouse inside the GFN's that you want to edit. Uh, new chat rendering. Uh, you can set up the maximum interval between the messages on advanced tab in unit properties. Uh, for intervals with lost connections, the graph line changed from solid to dashed. Uh, daily uh, start time, daily driving start time. 
if uh, option of driver activity on monitoring uh, panel is turned on in the unit properties, the tool tip with the driving information will show the driving start time. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, export uh, to CSV. We had the possibility to export resources in CSV format. Uh, here you can uh, export defenses, jobs, notifications, drivers, trailers, passengers, and report tables. As for optimizations, we enchant the import mechanism, making the import of big data volumes faster. Besides, when the import error happens, you will see its detailed description. As for fuel consumption calculation, the order of filtration and smoothing uh, was changed. Uh, they will uh, that will increase uh, the accuracy of calculations. And uh, now uh, in Velon Local 2004, you can fully use hardware that uh, works with uh, Flaspy through Flaspy, including sending commands to um, now let us start the questions and answer section. Uh, if you have questions, please uh, write them in chat and I will try to answer them. Does we have any questions? We will wait. Uh, if you have any questions regarding payments, uh, you can uh, send them directly on salesgurtam.com uh, and our managers will uh, help you with that. Uh, all questions about money you can direct straight to them, straight to them. Uh, as for now, we do not have any questions. I will show you, uh, for example, changing of uh, device type name. For example, we have here uh, new uh, distant tag device and we can Rena rename it for advanced uh, billing plan e and name it like super distance tag and save it. Uh, next, uh, if we go to CMS manager and See, here is an Apple test user with advanced billing plan. We will switch to this user. And try to create a unit with type super distance tag. And you will see that the name actually changed. Uh, my colleagues passed me question from Mike uh, Dobert. I'm sorry if uh, I incorrectly say your name. Uh, Velon, uh, what is the Velon 2004 used for? Uh, Velon 2004 and uh, Velon Local itself is a server-based solution that uh, provides Velon itself. Uh, it's a monitoring system that allows you to control uh, trackers, fleets uh, with help of um, our Vel <laughs> Velon system. Uh, you can, uh, for example, uh, install a tracker to a car and uh, see where it goes, uh, like that. 
I don't know, you can uh, read more about it alone if you want uh, on our site Gurten.com. Uh, here, uh, in products, we are alone. Uh, you can read more about it here or request our sales managers uh, via email sales at gurten.com. They will tell you much more about it. Do we have any questions? Uh, Elton Smith uh, asks if um, are there any questions to GSM modem options? I am struggling to find a SMS modem I can connect to my Vialon local server. There was no changes in this module uh, for now. Mm, um, but if you're struggling to find, uh, yeah, here's uh, our modems tab. Um, if you're struggling to find some modem, maybe you can uh, uh, write uh, uh, on our forum and our partners will share their experience with the different modem devices or our specialists uh, may recommend you some uh, device type, for example. Uh, uh, the question from uh, one of our partners, messages older than 13 uh, days are compressed if option database compression is enabled. Is it possible to change this period to 60 days, for example? Uh, now it is not possible, but we will discuss this question and maybe we'll provide a tool on uh, the administrator sites to change this value. Oh, I'm sorry if I <laughs> will uh, say your name wrong. Uh, mm, probably I won't try even. Uh, uh, Mr. Abraham <laughs> uh, asks, uh, I also will like to know about devices that are uh, compatible here in Nigeria and if you sell devices. Uh, you can see all supported devices uh, here on uh, Gurten.com in hardware part. Uh, here you can see uh, the full list. You can search, uh, for example, for some device types. We got uh, more than uh, 2,000 of models of GPS devices. Uh, but we do not sell devices. We offer the monitoring system itself. We are developers. Uh, also, some of our partners sell devices uh, themselves. Uh, if you request uh, uh, our sales manager, I think uh, they will uh, give you information about our partners in Nigeria uh, that may uh, sell you trackers and so on. So, just write them an, uh, an email. Uh, Martin uh, Jodin, I'm sorry, Martin, uh, if I say it wrong. Uh, hi, where can I get a step by step procedure to set up backup servers? Thanks. Uh, you can open our documentation uh, on docsvialon.com. Docs mm. Let's I show you the main page. Uh, here is well on local section. You can uh, open it and uh, in the on top, I'm sorry, uh, yes, in system section, there is a for uh, page for backup servers. And here you can uh, you can uh, find step by step instruction how to install the backup module. It's quite simple. 
usually if you have uh, this uh, module in your license uh, you have uh, archive that uh, is in your VLON local folder uh, you can uh, download it on another server run script and uh, just answer the, uh, the scripts questions and you will get the working backup server and also you will need some settings in uh, admin side here you can let's uh, see now admin side here you can add address to backup server access key and port uh, we got another question uh, uh, if we continue using an old version of VLON local without updating to a current version will there be any negative uh, consequences consequences uh, your server will not stop working obviously but there are common uh, consequences uh, um, if you continue using earlier versions for example of course new features and new devices will not be available for you um, as for box fixes um, to correct something for example in web, web interface or in hardware scripts uh, they are available only for last three years uh, three versions of VLAN local uh, for, uh, for earlier versions we provide only information support and also maybe a VLAN application such as uh, Nimbus, Fletran and Hectara as well as VLAN local mobile application work only in last three versions for VLAN local uh what oh, we got another question what will you be focused on when working over the next VLON local version um, in addition to new features which we usually appear in every new VLON local versions we are going to i think pay uh, more attention about security issues Uh, Martin asks uh, related to backup servers instructions where do we download the archive uh, you can find this archive in home VLON the local modules backup server there if you have an appropriate mm, module in your license so if you have uh, this section in your admin site so you know that uh, this section you know that uh, you have backup module in your local and if you enter home well on the local uh, modules there you can find backup server archive uh, Amar Pina uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong the update to Debian 10 already comes with the update we are on 20.04 or we do this manually before the 20.04 update uh, if you update uh, or upgrade from earlier versions of uh, well on local like 9.04 probably you have Debian 9 on your server uh, so when updating uh, VLON itself uh, uh, VLON itself does not have a, a root access to your server so we cannot update uh, the system itself from VLON side it can be done only with uh, root uh, writes uh, so you perform this action ma uh, manually but if you install from our SOMH, uh, for example, if you buy 2004 and install now from our SOMH, there will be a Debian 10 by default in this image. Also, what about the costs of upgrade to version 2004? Please address all questions, as I mentioned before, about the costs uh, to sales at gurtam.com our sales managers will be glad to help you with that uh, 
Okay, uh, while we have no questions for now, I can uh, say that um, uh, on uh, 28th of May uh, there will be a panel discussion uh, telematics hardware roundup a selection of devices and their application during crisis uh, the moderator will be Irina Radchenko strate uh, strategic Ashvir relationships manager from Gurtem my colleague uh, during the meetup, we will talk about the devices helping to deliver the, these projects, while uh, the Gurtem expert will comment on each case separately and elaborate on the needed VLAN functionality. So, probably, if we will have no more questions, so... I think uh, thanks to all participants. Mm, if you have more questions, you can write uh, them on uh, email that will be shown here. Can we show an email? Uh, or we can write them on our forum, uh, follow our updates. Yes. Uh, you can write it on local at gurtem.com. We will be glad to answer your questions. Um, thank you for your attention. Goodbye. <laughs>